Getting the right cheap graphics card to make your games run their best, whether you want stunning visuals, amazing frame rates, or an optimal balance can make a huge difference in the performance of your PC. But with so many options out there, how do you know which one will work best for you? In this video, we break down the top 3 best cheap graphics card on the market this year based on performance and situations they'll be used in. So, whether you're looking to get the best game performance for your money, a graphics card for 1080p gaming, or want your games to look their best while streaming, we'll have an option for you. So, if you're interested in finding out which cheap graphics card will be best for you, stay tuned. All the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned to the end so you don't miss anything. Up first, we have the Gigabyte GTX 1660 OC, our choice for the best cheap graphics card under $250. The Gigabyte GTX 1660 OC is one of the most popular graphics cards, and with good reason. It's a great graphics card to use for 1080p gaming, powered by NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 with 6GB of DDRR5 RAM. That's enough power to provide a solid performance on most modern games, creating realistic visuals. The NVIDIA Turing architecture also reduces tearing and stuttering for a smooth gameplay experience. The Turing shaders also offer adaptive shading technology, and the new unified memory architecture has twice the cache of its predecessors, giving amazing performance to blockbuster games. It can even handle up to 1440p on some games, while the Windforce 2x cooling system with alternate spinning fans ensures steady airflow, which I think goes a long way towards you being able to have marathon gaming sessions without worrying about substantial overheating. Another great thing is that it's pretty quiet as it runs, not producing much noise or being distracting as you play. The graphics card gets great performance thanks to the composite copper heat pipe and the direct touch GPU as well as the 3D active fan that provides effective heat dissipation. The GPU core clock speed is set at 1830 MHz, though the reference card is at 1785 MHz. The PCI Express 3.0 offers compatibility with a range of systems, making it versatile enough to fit with a lot of PC builds, and the size is also compact, measuring at 4.8 by 1.6 by 8.8 inches. It comes with one HDMI and three display ports, which give you the ability to connect up to four displays. If you stream, or if you like to snap in-game photos, you'll get amazing performance and image quality with NVIDIA Ancel, while GeForce Experience will let you share your streams, gameplay, and photos. The Gigabyte GTX 1660 OC has a lot of features to help your games run with the best performance, and I think the added display ports and ability to share high-quality streaming footage really adds to the value of what you get with its graphics card. Next up on our list, we have the AMD Radon RX 5600 XT, our choice for the best cheap AMD graphics card. The AMD Radon RX 5600 XT offers incredible performance, which should be no surprise as AMD has been stepping up on the quality of their products in recent years. For 1080p gaming, this card offers a lot of raw power, pushing just how fantastic games at that resolution can look. Although it doesn't offer ray tracing, it makes up for it with the performance you'll get for the price. Plus, you'll be paying more for a feature that a lot of games still don't use, giving the Radon RX 5600 more bang for your buck. Like other AMD graphics card, the RX 5600 is based on the 7 nanometer RDNA graphics architecture, with 6GB of GDDR6 video memory and a 192-bit memory interface. The graphics card also has an impressive 2304 stream processors, giving it amazing performance, especially with 1080p games. I think the software that comes with the graphics card is impressive, especially if you're a streamer or competitive gamer who cares about frame rate over resolution. With Radon Boost, the software will sense when your camera is moving quickly and responds by seamlessly lowering the resolution of background areas of the scene, greatly improving frame rate when it matters. With this feature enabled, I don't think you'll notice the resolution difference when you're caught up in the gameplay since important things like characters, weapons, and the UI will stay the same. That means the frame rate boost comes only by dipping the resolution of things you're not paying attention to in the heat of gameplay. There's also Radon Anti-Lag, which cuts the amount of time needed to synchronize frames between your GPU and CPU, making AMD Radon an amazing platform if you want to play esports at high frame rates. The pairing of powerful hardware performance and intelligent software features makes the AMD Radon RX 5600 XT a fantastic value for a cheap graphics card. If you want to push the visuals and performance of games, or enjoy competitive gaming, this is hands down the card for you. Last up, we have the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super, our choice for the best cheap graphics card for 1080p gaming. The NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super gives you an extra bit of performance over the standard GTX 1660 while retaining an attractive budget graphics card price. The amazing performance is due to the 6GB of GDDR6 RAM, which boosts memory speed from 8GB per second to 14GB per second. The card is based on the TU116 GPU, giving it 1408 stream processors and a base clock of 1530 MHz, with a 1785 MHz boost clock. It's a fantastic card for 1080p gaming, bringing amazing frame rate performance to games while still making them look amazing. 
It comes with a DVI, HDMI, and DisplayPort, giving you a few connection options. And you know you have a powerful graphics card if it requires external power to run, since the GTX 1660 Super does draw 127.4 watts alone in the most taxing situations. I recommend you have at least a 500 watt power supply to run your PC from. The dual fans keep things cool and running smoothly, even during graphically intense games. They use the MSI Twin Frozar thermal design to bring the most advanced technology for great cooling performance. It features the new Torx Fan 3.0 combined with groundbreaking aerodynamic feels, resulting in stable performance and a silent experience made possible by low temperatures. An extra touch I like is that Nvidia added RGB lighting to the outside so you can give your PC some style. The turning shaders boast adaptive shading technology, and you'll also find the same unified memory architecture as the Gigabyte GTX 1660 from earlier, giving you performance increases on today's blockbuster games. And you also get the GeForce Experience software for all of your media creating needs, whether you take screenshots, game footage, or live stream, all with high quality image capture. For all your 1080p gaming needs, the Nvidia GeForce GTX 1660 Super is the best graphics card at a cheap price. It will make your games run amazingly and look fantastic, and will let you share all your gaming moments with crisp clarity. Alright guys, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you like the video, consider subscribing. We do our best to keep you up to date with the best products on the market right now, so if you want to stay current regarding the best gear, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you back here soon for the next video.